breaking, lawmakers in one state are now pushing for involuntary home visits on homeschool families. In a typical bait and switch kind of move, liberal lawmakers in California are doing all they can to turn the act of parental rights to educate their children as homeschooled students into a gun grab situation like we often see whenever any act of violence is committed with a firearm in America. The case of the 13 chained and tortured children recently found in the home of the Tobins who were recently found to be horrifically torturing their numerous children while claiming to be a registered private school. There is absolutely no data as far back as one can dig that would support this bogus claim that homeschooling is the cornerstone of torture and abuse. However, despite the lack of evidence, lawmakers are pushing for parents in California who choose to homeschool have forced government officials in their homes to ensure that there is no abuse. In essence, that means that homeschooled families have forced meetings with child protective services and other government agencies to search their homes at the whim of the state. Families who choose to educate their children at home would have to prove to the CPS workers that they are fit to have their children at home with them. This is outrageous. State lawmakers are arguing that parents who choose to homeschool their children are more likely to become child abusers and should be subjected to involuntary home visits to prove to the government that they are acceptable parents. Lawmakers in the state of California are now pushing for families who homeschool their children to be subject to involuntary home visits from state employees treating those parents with the same oversight and involvement that they would give parents who have abused their children. The new regulations could consist of forced meetings with Child Protective Services and other government agencies, which would leave the burden on the parents to prove to the government that they are fit to be parents who homeschool their children, according to the state's guidelines. As the Washington Examiner reported, if this increase in government oversight becomes law, it would reduce the valid legal option of homeschooling from a fundamental parental right, to direct the education and school choice for children, to compelled consent to government intrusion upon the sanctity and privacy of the home and school choice. The push for increased government involvement is being justified by the case of David and Louise Turpin, a California couple facing 12 counts of torture after police learned that their 13 children were severely malnourished, forced to stay chained to their beds, and living in horrific conditions, among other forms of torture that have been ongoing for several years. Now, of course, no one is denying that what happened in the Turpin home was atrocious, but the same abuse occurs to children who are in public schools. In fact, the Washington Examiner points out that despite what California lawmakers claim that homeschooling is a haven for abusers their findings show the exact opposite. In published studies among such experts as the World Health Organization, the U.S. Commission to Eliminate Child Abuse and Neglect Fatalities, the American Psychological Association, the Mayo Clinic, and others, none of these sources list homeschooling as a risk factor for child abuse and neglect. In other words, there is no evidence or data to even suggest that homeschooled children are being harmed or at risk of harm at a rate higher than children in other non-homeschooled and private schooling communities. For years, data has been pulled, studied, and then rescued and it all continues to show that homeschooled children receive the best form of education. Even, Business Insider wrote a piece titled Homeschooling Could Be the Smartest Way to Teach Kids in the 21st Century Here Are Five Reasons Why. In this piece, the author Chris Weller writes how homeschooling isn't merely a mainstream choice, but also states that homeschooled kids have the same access to online learning, friendships, and extracurricular activities as the typical public school student but without many of the drawbacks, like standardized lesson plans and bullying. This is nothing more than another way for the government to control the way we parent our children and water down our parental rights. As a very dedicated homeschool parent myself I find this entire claim to be completely outrageous and unconstitutional. Maybe if these state lawmakers spent more time doing their actual jobs and keeping a closer eye on public schools, there would be no need for homeschool, but that will never happen. Public education is nothing more than a machine to produce mindless worker bees and the majority of Americans know it.